Welcome back to my channel. This is me again, Dorsak, and today I'm so, so excited to share with you my February plan with me video. And this month, oh, it's a crazy month. I just gave birth a couple of weeks ago. If you've been here before, you know. So for February, I want to try something more laid back, more easy, mostly. So I really hope you like it. I really love how it turned out. Very, very out of my comfort zone. It's including color, me color, I know, but it's just still very subtle and I really really love how it turned out I really hope you like it too and this video is also sponsored by Skillshare and I'm going to talk about them later on in this video so stay tuned and yeah without further ado let's dive into it so as usual I always like to mention that all the products I'm going to be using in this video are linked down in the description box so if you're looking to try anything out please head over there and you'll find all the information you need and if there's anything missing don't hesitate please leave me a comment down in the comments below and I'll get back to you with an answer or a recommendation or just chat with you guys. I love chatting with you down in the comments. It's the best part of YouTube. So go ahead and talk to me there. So heading over to the first spread, which is the cover, obviously, I wanted to do something very easy and very simple. As I mentioned before, I didn't plan in advance, which is the first time it ever happened. If you've been watching my videos before, you know, I always lay everything out and sketch everything before I start filming. But this month, I really challenged myself to just start and do whatever my mind let me to do and that's what I did here I had no plan whatsoever beforehand and to be honest I was very intimidated and really worried to just start without planning anything but eventually I found it very relaxing because once I started I let go and just enjoyed every minute i felt like it was very freeing to do something like that so that's what i did here so first of all i started with choosing my color scheme which is something that's brand new for me again if you've been watching my videos before you know i'm all about black and white and sometimes gold or silver um, accent but I never really used any color in any of my spreads before so it was a really first time thing for me. So my idea was to basically have three main colors which basically one of them is not the real color because it's light gray but I wanted three colors that will be associated with different shapes so I started off with this gray olive tone for this more of an arc or rainbow shape and then I went for this more warm tone ochre shade for this health moons or health circles whatever you want to call them and lastly I wanted this abstract shape that will be filled with a warm gray tone that I use all the time and probably needed to buy extras because as you can see it's pretty striking right from the start but it doesn't matter I still really love how it turned out and lastly I decided to add more shapes um, some are abstract like this half moon lines and I decided to go with this earthy tones and add more of a natural vibe and added those leaves which even though it was the last thing I was thinking of adding I feel like it was the best decision to add those leaves I feel like they made this whole composition a lot more complete and I really love the organic vibe that it gives and I just I, it's my favorite thing so I'm very happy that it, I end up adding those I also really like the fact that um, I incorporated more line work on top of the marker I feel like it gives this whole composition layers and more depth so I really really love the way that it end up looking and yeah it gives a little bit of a different shape where all the rest are very structured this is more organic i think it turned out very very well and yeah i obviously added february 
and a little calendar and I feel like it ended up being one of my favorite spreads and covers just because it's so unique for what I usually do it's so different and I really enjoyed getting there the whole let free spirit and moment that I had there I feel like it ended up looking very mid-century modern I don't know why but these shapes and colors really remind me of the 70s for some reason let me know if you think that way too I don't know how I got to think about it but looking at the half moon shapes at least really remind me of the 70s and everything mid-century and I feel like with the simplicity and the minimalistic vibe it really gives me that look and i'm all for it i really love mid-century so i feel like it's right up my alley and i really really love how it turned out let me know what you think in the comments below moving on to the second spread it's my calendar which i usually incorporate i feel like it's so helpful to have some sort of calendar every month so this time i decided to have something more simple again um, something easier and instead of having those boxes those actual calendar looking spread i decided to just have a list on the right page which will have all the days of the month and then all the events that i want to incorporate i feel like it's going to be helpful to explain how i build up my compositions and um, I do feel like there is a pattern here and some sort of a technique so I feel like it's going to be worth mentioning. I usually start off with either the darkest shade or the biggest shape and so here I ended up having not only the biggest shape which is this big rainbow um, I decided to do it with the darkest shade so it was easier for me to just start off with that and the reason why I start off with the biggest and most dark um, shade is because that really helps ground this whole composition and um, for me, I feel like it's the best way to start and I usually continue with a medium size shape or the medium tones and usually I finish out with the lightest shades and the smallest shape, which here is not really the smallest shapes. I feel like those abstract shapes are basically huge, but because it's the lightest shade, this light gray, I feel like it's not as heavy as the other ones if it makes any sense so this is how i usually uh, build up my composition and i add more weight and more pigment where i feel like it's needed and it's empty and basically i continue until i feel harmony on the page if it makes any sense i'm so happy that i was brave enough to just went for it and do an entire setup with no planning in advance just to go for it and i just feel like it's a great opportunity for me to explain and show um, a little bit of the behind the scenes of how i think and how i get to lay everything out every month because i usually do all of that before filming but because i wanted this month to be very simple and laid back and just go for it and not spending time on planning um, even though it was challenging and basically i needed to put more effort while filming but eventually took less time just because i didn't plan anything it was basically the only time that i was thinking about this spread was the time i was filming so it was a different experience and i'm very happy that i was brave enough to try it and share it with you and yeah that's how i usually plan everything before filming so yeah if you have any more questions about the planning part let me know in the comments below i would love to answer and talk to you about it and let me know how you plan out your monthly spreads and if you plan in advance or just go for it like i did here i'm curious um i feel like i always need to plan but again for this month i not only had zero time but i just wanted to try something new and be brave and i'm so happy i did because it ended up looking very much my style and i'm really happy with how it turned out so moving on to the next spread i decided to do my mood tracker so for the mood tracker i wanted to start again with the dark um, a rainbow shape and once I decided of the placement of 
the shape um, I added two of them at the beginning anyway and once I had this laid out I decided to create the mood tracker this month with a huge leaf and um, I just really enjoy the change of scale and what basically I'm planning to do is every day I'm gonna color one of these leaves with a color of my choice of what I feel like what I want to that day and I just realized I didn't number them but basically it doesn't really matter I would just fill in one or two of them every day until I will run out of them just to basically see the vibe of how I felt this month when this month will be over I can go back and take a look of this mood tracker which is something I really enjoy doing just go back and look at how I've been doing in a specific month during the year I just feel like it's very nice to document it and yeah that's what I'm planning to do here and once I'm done with the left side of the spread I move on to the right side and for the right side I decided that I need to add a little bit more weight there so I added another one of those olive rainbow shapes again and once I was done with that I decided to add a few of the half moon shape and I decided to dedicate the right side of the spread for productivity and since I gave birth literally a couple of weeks ago I am struggling and trying to find a new routine with new ideas of how to keep myself productive with the time that I do have which is something I've been struggling with the last couple of weeks obviously because I have a newborn at home but I really want to try to make it work and really figure out how to take advantage of the time that I do have so in between feeding for example I have a couple of hours so I really want to know how to prioritize my time and figure out what's more important and what I should waste my time on basically so for now this is my spread this is the idea behind it so I'm gonna write my goals here and some tips of how to stay and be productive so that's my plan for this one and right before I thought I was done with the spread I decided to add another leaf on the bottom right just to balance everything out and I'm really happy that I did I feel like the composition is very complete and yeah I'm sorry I'm talking about composition a lot because I feel like when you have an assortment of shapes and different line work it's all about composition so that's why I keep on mentioning it but now we're moving on to the last spread of the setup and this one is basically for ideas some people call it a brain dump which I don't like this term because nothing that's coming out of your brain is a dump um, so I just call it an idea spread and yeah this one is for my YouTube ideas basically videos ideas or any idea that I have for YouTube so that's basically what this spread is for but if you are taking it as an inspiration you can obviously use this spread for anything you can think of ideas for meal prep ideas for anything that you want basically so that's what I wanted and needed to incorporate this month so that's why I added this spread yeah that's basically it. every once in a while I like to add those spreads just because every time I have an idea I like to just go ahead and immediately add it without thinking where I'd find it in the future because if I'll just write it in one random day I will never find it moving on so I always like to have these spreads ready in advance so when i do have an idea i immediately go to this spread and edit and in the future i can always refer to these spreads specifically where i know i'm gonna find inspiration and um, all the ideas that i originally had and i decided to add a lot of these leaves again and more of the half moon shaped lines i just really love the line work that i end up incorporating i think it's really cool and that's pretty much it and now that we are done with the setup and right before the final flip through i want to talk to you about today's sponsor skillshare 
Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people like ourselves. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. My favorite classes, which I'm sure most of you will be interested in them too, are about illustration, graphic design, photography, fine art, and lately also productivity, which I found very, very helpful for me. This week I started my second course by Thomas Frank, which is a YouTuber, an author, and an entrepreneur. And this course called Real Productivity, How to Build Habits That Last. And basically now with a newborn, I've been struggling to really find time to do things that I need to do and build a new routine that will be productive. And so far so good. I feel like I already learned so many new skills that will help me to manage my time better. And I really can't wait to finish this course and see what it brings and move on to the next one. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you, and it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. I feel like it's the best thing you can do for 2021 and just start this year fresh and really diving into being more creative and learn your skills. So the first 1,000 people to use the link down in the description box will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So I really hope you'll try it and love it as much as I do. And now it's finally time to head over to the flip through. watching i really truly appreciate it and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel i would love to see you again in the future and yeah don't forget to check out the link for skillshare down in the description box and that's about it for this one i'll see you in the next one bye